think one of the, re the reasons that many people have ever, had, who first of all came on the website, had ever heard of me, was books. And probably in my, I've been writing about mine since uh, 75, can you believe it? <laughs> and um, probably made more of my reputation at the beginning writing books. Um, <coughs> A lot of you here will think that books are dead. I'm not sure they're dead. Uh, in fact, I'm certain they're not dead, but I think that the means by which they get to their readers, um, obviously, is in full flux. Uh, I heard a story this morning from somebody writing a book about Virginia wine, which sent a chill down my spine about what publishers expect. I remember very, very early on, there was a grand dam of English wine writing called um, uh, Pamela Van Dyke Price. She was very frightening. And she once summons me to her flat in London. You had to sort of walk through a thicket of, of sample bottles, which I suppose people think that that's what my place is like now. And um, she sat me down with a glass of wine and nodded at the book she was working on. She said, you will learn, my dear, that there is a special hole in hell for publishers. <laughs> and it's certainly true that the relationship between authors and publishers is, is not, the, not naturally um, friendly. Um, I personally think that, that there, there will continue to be an appetite for book-like things about wine because there is just so much information. Um, but obviously the, the future surely is self-publishing and uh, presumably you too have read about what J.K. Rowling of Harry Potter fame is now doing. She's not even selling her books through Amazon. She's selling them all through her own website. Wouldn't it be nice to get into that position? Um, and I, I don't see why we can't um, move towards that. Uh, all I'd say is that, that I think some of the self-published books that I've seen so far don't share quite as high production values as my idea of the perfect wine book. But I'm sure that will come, and perhaps if we take more control, uh, that would become very, very easy. Um, I watched, in, I've been, my first book came out in 79, and I've been churning out books ever since. Um, and I was very frustrated for the first sort of eight years, I'd say, of my website's existence, when publishers sort of mostly seemed to sort of think it had some bad smell, and they didn't really want to mention it, most of them, um, and, and still saw the, the printed word as, as king. And then finally, there was a kind of huge vault fast sort of two or three years ago, when suddenly my publishers would be saying to me, how do you do this thing again, you know, this online thing? Um, or they, they'd start up a web page with the, the name of the publisher and actually list their books on it and think, that's marvellous, you know, we never have to change that again. Um, luckily, though, uh, Oxford University Press, who published one of my best-known books, The Oxford Companion to Wine, have always been very, very good at, at getting it about online publishing, um, to the extent that um, one of the, the people was a judge in the um, Born Dig another on, um, Born Digital awards about wine writers, which actually I, I judged this year, which was interesting. Um, so, um, I, do, I am continuing to write books, and in fact, at the moment, uh, you see this, the first article there, a new summer regime at jr.com, has very, very sad news as far as I'm concerned. I fight with two other people, my assistant, Julia Harding, MW, and a very good Swiss botanist uh, called José Guillemot. We are pr producing a massive, brand new, great guide to all the wine grapes in the world, about 1,400 of them that are used commercially, um, including all the latest DNA stuff about how, how they're all related, you know, that uh, Pinot Noir is Cabernet's auntie sort of thing. And um, I have finally realized that I'm not gonna make enough progress on it while being in charge of the website. So my fingers have been sort of prized off the, off the website and I've handed over management of it to um, the three key fellow team members. And it's so scary, it's very nasty. But, and of course, um, I'll be furious if they screw it up and I'll be furious if they make a really good go of it. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so at the moment I'm finishing off the great book. Uh, so I've got six weeks where I've promise not to be, man not to be uh, managing the site, although I'm continuing to contribute to it, I can't, 
can't stop myself. Um, got another book coming out on, on, with Linda Murphy on American wine, the seventh edition of the World Atlas of Wine, and then OUP are threatening to make me do the next edition of the Oxford Companion to Wine. Um, so it's all, uh, I, I can't tell, I just enjoy writing for, uh, for a website so much more than those long, long deadlines of, of books. But I don't think books are dead, and, and there is a huge demand for wine books in China. I will just throw that into the, into the pot if uh, any of you want to get between hard covers and make a pitch for a growing market.